Uh, what have we got to start with? We have, where is it? Knowledge Adventure. So this is Jumpstart 5th Grade. Um, something, something Kid Detective. Let's, let's jump in and have a look, shall we? And yeah, this is another one that doesn't work natively in Windows 3.1. Um, I did put on like WinG and a couple other things, do a few more tweaks to get it to work. Which is working now. Alright. Um, so, same deal. Type in our name. Press enter. With no one to stop Ooh. me, revenge! Oh, is this uh, the lobe from Freakazoid? I enjoyed that. Yeah, Matey and I were watching um, Waxwork the other day and it had um, David Warner, the voice of the Loeb, also the bad guy from Tron. It's um, actually pretty good. Yeah, um, I think I was talking about it last week. Yeah, the um, Dracula tries to turn into a bat and escapes and someone's like, no you don't. And shoots him. Oh wow, this, uh, this is a kid's educational game by the way. Oh, just nightmare. Started as another bleak day in Hooverville. Ah, uh, heard this voice. That, oh no, the detective movie marathon. Huh? Oh, not the detective Correct. movie marathon. Honestly, no one was injured in the blast that destroyed the Hooverville television relay station earlier this morning. Taking responsibility is one Dr. X, as he's calling himself, who has vowed to Yeah, for kids' education city. games, the one mood in these are time. getting, like, really dark, aren't they? Skateboard. Oh, yeah. Got some moves. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Started as another bleak day in Hoorville. The kind of day that makes you talk to yourself while riding a bus. If it wasn't for this field trip to the museum, I'd have never have gotten involved in the biggest case of my life and the city's history. God, I know the voice. I definitely know the voice. It sounds like, um, ah, uh, there was like, uh, no, I remember Duckman. He had two sons with that were conjoined twins called Charles and Mambo, and um, I think one of them, one of the ladies who did the voice, was in like uh, I forgot her name. Hey, buddy! She's in um, hey, one of the vacation hey. movies, but she died early, huh? like halfway through production. And I think she got replaced by this chick. I think the other one was um, Elizabeth Daly, the um, chick is Tommy Pickles in Rugrats. Okay, some that dodgy stuff at the museum. Hmm. Oh, we're going more point and click adventure style for this one, I guess. And then looks like Doc Brand's fallen on hard times. What's going on here? That was my nephew, Martin. Those bullies were carrying him away. Oh, there's the dialogue trees? Okay. Um, all right. Are you sure this wasn't some nouveau art performance? There's no room for performance in art. At least that's what my father used to say. He sounds like an open-minded guy. Hmm. Does this kind of thing happen often at the museum? In my day, this kind of thing never happened. Sure, you'd get the occasional tomato fight, but the perpetrators what? would always be forced into exile on a garbage scow. Hmm. Ah, yes, the swift hand of justice being wielded by mob mentality. The good old days. Nothing's changed, has You it? said it. <laughs> um. Can you think of any reason why your nephew might need to be carried off from a public place? Rattling rutabagas, this is my nephew we're talking about. He's a good, honest boy. A bit on the nerd side, but good. <laughs> He's a bit of a nerd, but yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Hey, 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 without nerds, we'd have no computers. No computers means no computer games. Without computer games, where would we be? Yeah. Probably the this is true. Papers. You need a special kind of autism to be a um, game dev for the most part. What was your nephew doing with thugs like Do we those? Did that one? I don't know. He used to work non-stop with some doctor researching animal communications in his spare time while finishing his graduate studies. The next thing I know, he's got these low lives around him, pushing him this way and that. Yeah. What <laughs> kind of animal communication? 
This doctor he worked for used to have some kind of crazy notion that he could talk with the animals. Used to wear sea life on his head and claim that he could communicate with them. <gasps> it's yeah. weird. Is the turn? Hmm. Um. <laughs> okay, that's not what I was expecting. Yeah, could, do I have control over this or is this still a... Uh... No, nah, I'm gonna wait for this to play out, I guess. Or do I? Stop! Oh no! Okay. Help! Help! This madman's nuts! He's trying to sweep the floor with me! Shh! Lady and guy with broom, I am BF Skinny. Here, huh. I got this note okay. for you. Hmm. Where did you come from? Where did I come from? I'm a lab rat. <laughs> you figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but which lab? If Martin gave you this note, you must know where he is. I'm sorry, Senator. I can't recall. <laughs> okay. How do we find Martin? Oh, Martin. I got Martin. Can't remember who. Oh. Yeah. No, that's fair. If he's a um. Lab rat, he's probably had a fair few electrodes hooked up Could to his brain. Could you draw a picture of the men? Look, lady, I'm a rat. You're lucky I'm even talking to you. <laughs> Where did cool. you get this note? Note? What note? What's with the third degree, eh? What are you, some kind of shrink? I'm looking for some answers. Did Martin give you this note? He, he must have. I can't write. Or read, for that matter. Hmm. Is that bow tie some kind of fashion statement? Yeah, I'm saying, hey, I'm a rat. I'm ready for anything. You've got a point. Hmm. Okay. Um. Uh. Just... Never mind. No, let's get through. We need some some gameplay. So, what? Do we get any help, or a... there's like nothing selectable here at the moment? Do we just keep talking to him? Uh. Hmm. Never mind. Can we just leave. No, we're not allowed to leave, apparently. Um, How do we find Martin? Just oh, got to do more conversation. Martin. I got Martin! Can't remember who... Oh. You have no memory whatsoever? None that I recall. Hmm. Where did you <clears throat> get this note? Note? What note? What's with the third degree, eh? What are you, some kind of shrink? I didn't know rats went to psychiatrists. Oh, yes. We oh, are pun firm believers in positive reinforcement. Mm. Could I have a cookie, please? <laughs> um. Where did you come from? I guess there was more Where conversation here. From? I'm a lab rat. <laughs> you figure it out. That's it. I'm calling the exterminator. Hold your horses, hold your horses. All I can remember is Martin telling me to take this note to the museum and give it to somebody. But I don't remember. He'll call me whenever he needs help and, and I'll deliver notes here. Oh, okay. Huh? I need to figure out this oh, to get the code. So is it kind of they doing Martin, like a Professor Layton thing this time? Like you're doing the story and then you get the puzzle like this. Okay. Um, well, how am I supposed to work all these out? We don't get any reference. We just got a gnaw off the top of our heads. Is that, uh, the thing? Uh, this rock bit. Yeah, like, these are a bit obscure. I'm not really sure, uh, what the go is. Hmm. Mints form a natural boundary between... France, Italy, Germany, and Switzerland. I think that would be the Alps. Okay. We've locked something in. It hasn't told us if it's right or not. Maybe you have to go around the museum and actually get these clues. Um, some guy called Paul Klee. This Klee should fit. Surely it was a full letter word, wasn't it? Um, Paul... Wait, there we go. Finally got it. 
That was annoying. That was really annoying, I'm not gonna lie. I don't have to edit around that one. And now my coffee. Yeah, it's it's gotten to the point where my coffee is now cold. Yeah. Let's see here. If I take the letters that the arrows are pointing at, then rearrange them, it's gotta be some sort of a dress. Mogul and Anna. Huh? That doesn't sound right. What else could it be? Oak and Maine. Ah, oh, okay. We gotta go Do you know where Oak and Maine are? Yeah, I've got a map you can take. Yeah, fair enough. Hooverville's pretty big, so this map's a big help. Move your mouse around to see what's what. Just click on a place to start a trip. Yeah, okay. Uh, Vime and Rye. Oh, yeah, we're at the museum. That's a pretty specific museum, though, to just do specifically art and geography. Nothing else. Uh, Vine and Rye. Where do I see Oak and Main? Probably in the middle here somewhere, surely. Squishy Juice Bar. Vale and Kent. Beaker Mill. Oak and Main. Here we go. Skating's easy. Just don't fall. Use the arrow keys to move Oh, we got a mini game now? A space bar to jump. Okay. Watch out for anything that might trip you up. Yeah, fair enough. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's straightforward. Oh, this is <laughs> the sleepwalking guy. What? Okay. Old lady. Yeah, sure. This is uh, this is exciting. Okay. <laughs> what are these people? And why is there a toilet in the middle of the street? Why is there two toilets? Why are there three? Like the cardboard boxes I get, just not whole fucking toilets. That's a little weird. Yeah, fuck you old lady. Can we go faster? No, that was a bad idea. Just... <laughs> they really dropped the ball on this one, didn't they? Holy shit. That's disappointing. Yeah, like... I had high hopes for they were they were doing a pretty good job for a while and then oh we finally got some music Jesus all right yeah now this one's just slack pretty decidedly unimpressed and is it gonna be the whole thing again of like the electroplating plant well this do we is get the like a whole story come. like since what, no one's here what's to the greet content me, I guess entail? I'll just have to pick that lock to get inside oh lock picking Nice. This lock's tricky. Oh, no. I can pick it to get inside, but first I'll need to match all the numbers on the sides of these triangles. I can move them and spin them, but I have to solve the math problems first. Oh. Yeah, someone's left their math problems indicator on. Um, so how do I get a math problem then? Oh, here we go. Um, so, what was it? Oh, do we have to do... Yeah, yeah. Um, what is it? 12, 6. Correct. Okay. That gets us... Oh, I, I, I can hear this indicator going off very quietly. Um, space bar, maybe? How do I activate these math problems? God damn it. Come on. Press some buttons. Okay. Uh, 872 plus 613. Um, 13. Oh, we gotta press the question marks. Okay, okay. Um, 9, 13, 9. Okay, put these question marks. Okay, 8. Uh, 14, 6. Mm-hmm. Um, 17, 1, 5, 8. Um, yep. 8, 12, 8. And 1. Yep. Yeah, it kind of makes it easy for you. Because you just, it's... As long as you're remembering the correct bloody thing. Oh, um, let me say eight, five, one. 
Correct. Um, 15. What do you say? 6, 8, 7. Yep. Not really much. <laughs> not the most exciting lockpicking minigame I've ever done, I'm not going to lie. I've got that wrong. Uh, that should be 13. Mm-hmm. Uh, 8. Oh, hello, fatty. What are you up to? You come for smooch? Well, I'm streaming. Hey, come. You want to just come up for a smooch? No, he's just come to say hello. Okay. Um, yeah, if he ever decides to jump on the bed or anything, I'll put Cat Cam back on so we can see him. Um, so now we can rotate these. Um, oh, okay. Um, so what are we matching up the numbers? Can we like rotate these? How about some help? To rotate the triangles, click on one and hit the space bar. Oh, but remember, okay. you need to be done with all the problems first. Yeah, we did that. So we just... No, hang on. Okay, so you gotta like, um... That noise though, that's a little weird. Um... 33... Yeah, so it seems like you gotta click on it, rotate it with space, and then click on the end to let go. Yeah, got it. And what's wrong with it? this middle one? Doesn't match up. I only matched up what was around the edge. Okay. Oh, we gotta do it again. Fuck's sake. Um. Okay. Zero. Yeah, it just does all the most of the maths for you in this, doesn't it? Um. Twelve minus five, seven, and then seven. Okay. Um, so we got three. Thirty minus four is nine. Eight. Uh, fourteen by take six is eight. Is it? Fourteen take. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. Zero four. Yep. Um, three. Seven take six five. Yep. This is what I wanted to do on a Sunday. Math problems. Sure. Righto. Righto. Uh, 1, 9, 11, 2, 6. Yep. Just actual fucking maths. Yep. 9, 3. Yep. Um, 2, 8, 5. Just that indicator noise is like driving me nuts though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, 7 and 2 is 5, 6, yep. Um, 3, 5, 1. And then uh, 6, 9, 3. Mm. Um, what do you say? 7 take 4 is 3. Uh, 9, 8, oh, no. Nah. Correct. Okay. Um, rotate that. What do we say? 5, 8, 2. That was 6, 5, 8, which goes here. Um, that's correct. Oh. Yeah. Only got some bloody music in this game. Sounds bad. Right. Oh, thank goodness you're here. We've got to hurry. <laughs> Dr. X's men, they'll be back any minute. I, was it with stereotypical nerds and always doing that? Like, yeah, I know, I just for a fair bit, but not to that extent. Um, <laughs> fair so enough. you're mixed up in the life of crime, I gotta ask, does it pay? Only if you consider sleepless nights and stress-induced hair loss as payment. I'd say no. Yeah, I'd, uh, hmm. I'd say no, too. Fair enough. Who is this... X you're talking What's about. What's the boy doing? Dr. Why are you X harassing me, boy? You're bored. In the field of animal behavior, Beans is bored, apparently. Found a link between certain types uh, of and I can't have the... Transmitter in the human brain this is coming through, like, on this side. On the floor, but yeah, I haven't got the, um, the camera on this side anymore. Though, You'd have to jump on the bed for you to see him. Or I could bring him up. Now he's a little bit you just smooch him, boy. Do you mean he can talk with the animals? Well, not him personally, but he's been using octopus to attain mind control over his thugs. 
That's how they communicate, with the octopus sending out high-frequency thought patterns. What? That's why you'll need those glasses, to read those thoughts. Why do I need glasses? What's with the rat? Oh, BF? Oh, he was my favorite lab rat from my early days working for Dr. X. He, he can speak English, but, but latched on to old comedy routines from the movies we used to watch in the lab. Now he only speaks in bad jokes and tired cliches, but you gotta love the little guy. <laughs> no, we don't. Why can't he just talk normal? Well, something went wrong with the experiments. <laughs> Although he sounds and acts like a vaudeville entertainer, he has no short-term memory to convey simple thoughts. It's a good thing we weren't watching a lot of Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek, fair enough. I found your glasses. You want them back? Oh, no, those, those glasses are for you. You'll need them to interpret the telepathic codes that Dr. X's thugs communicate with. Okay. What are you talking about? Dr. X had all his thugs equipped with octopus on their heads. The octopus interact with a certain neurotransmitter in their brains, encoding and transmitting their thoughts without having to speak. So you'll need to put on those glasses to be able to read their thoughts. Hmm. Um, so we did all the dialogue, didn't we? Do we have to, like... I found your glasses. You we have to go through every single, no, those, like, those dialogue are for thing? You. You'll need them to interpret the telepathic codes that Dr. X's thugs communicate with. Why don't you just run away? Oh, I have my reasons. Probably, the, yeah, the giant obvious ball and chain. So now that you're like... mixed up in the life of crime, I gotta ask. Does it pay? Only if you consider sleepless nights and stress-induced hair loss as payment. I'd say no. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd say no, too. Who is this X you're talking about? Yeah, because it's not going to let me continue on unless I do all the dialogue. Of animal behavior ...who actually found a link between certain types of creatures and a neurotransmitter in the human brain that, that allows limited but effective cross-species communication. During the course of one of his experiments, and when did we though, get glasses? I don't remember getting any glasses. Host, and now he's a little bit crazy. How crazy? Crazy enough to force me to sabotage this electroplating factory. He has some mad idea about getting revenge on the companies that used to support his research. But according to him, they cut his funding unfairly. So now he plans to blow them all up. Oh, sure. Quick, hide. They're coming back. Uh, now's a good time to try out the glasses. Okay. <gasps> huh? What? Oh, the oh, okay. I read thoughts with these glasses, but the message is scrambled because I'm not wearing an octopus on my head. Thank goodness. I just need to put the right words into their proper places. What is when you figured up out with the henchmen, fit, by the way? Be sure to read what they've said. It could be valuable information. Oh, and if you start picking wrong words, your correct choices will disappear. Quiet down and concentrate, you knuckleheads. Oh, and this is, I'm presuming this is the, um, thing out of the slider. Oh, do we get, um... Ah, uh, righto, so it's same as that other one in grade four. With that, um, something... Presume? No. Be wrapped, I guess. Oh, and the... <laughs> hang on, hang on. We sure left a big mess in that innovating factory, didn't we? That's electroplating factory, shock brain. Silence, I shall have the boss deposit you in one of the chemical spills if you don't be quiet. I'd hate to fall in one of those toxic puddles, so would I. With that arm spinning around like some heretofore unfamiliar variety of electrified tornado, likely to be a high voltage drop across those... um... something puddles? Powerful enough to fry Moby Dick? What if the bomb doesn't something and we have to repair it? Uh... I know that's a verb, but do we get the right one? What well, if the bomb doesn't explode? We have to repair it. How could we access the bomb without being violently blank? Um, shocked would work? I, I don't know if we need the exact correct word, though. That's the only thing. Um, without being violently block? No. Oops, sorry, cat. Violently principal? No. Aren't we shocked, I guess? The only way we could perform any ameliorative adjustments to that incendiary device would be 
to short out. Oh, terminals would have been right. I'm going to wait for terminals to come up. There we go. Um, to the control chamber very carefully using an appropriate electrical conductor. Are you talking about one of those music people? No, bassoon brain. By conductor, I mean a substance capable of something electricity. Um, carrying electricity, I guess. There we go. Uh, we could use an electrical conductor to short out the switches. Oh, a conductor. You're talking about something like a brick or a block of cement, right? <laughs> Just giving him a little suck on the brain. Oh, no concrete cortex. Masonry isn't conductive. I'm referring to something metallic. For example, a piece of wire? Metal? Oh, that's easy. Plenty of things made of metal, like aluminium baseball bats. For instance, I have one of those in my car. Um, baseball bats. I have one of those in my car. Well, if we had to, we could something out the circuit which fit short out the circuit which feeds electrical current to that rotating arm then we could lock these arm back into position as a safety precaution of course sounds good to me but how would we um walk through back out through those chemical puddles we need some sort of protective foot covering with all the electrical something running around those liquid pools might still be very shall we say um hang on with all the electrical something running around. Electrical... No, store? Cables? Yeah. Liquid pools might shall be say... we got to wait for say to come up again. Wait for say. When's say coming up? No, defied. No. Hmm. Decorate? No. Say. Okay. But what's the worry? We won't need any... We won't have any need to something the bomb, repair the bomb as long as we've installed everything properly. Okay. It's pretty slack that it's not reading it all out for us either. Dig around in our ass for a notepad again. Hmm. Looks like I'll need to get a few things in the city to try and get to that bomb. I bet I can go to places like the mine shaft, the juice bar, and the junkyard to get the items. But what would be insulation from electricity? What would lock down the control arm? And just what could I use as a conductive item to short out the terminals? Okay. I guess we got our own. Oh, so we're freed up to go fetch questing, I guess. To find the items we need to short out this bomb. And was it just a normal bomb, or does it actually um, hey there, do kid. something special? I'm Jimmy the Shadow. Welcome to my humble establishment. What can I do for you, huh? I'm looking for an object that will bridge circuits. Could you be a little more cryptic? <laughs> How about ice cream? That's I really nice. need something that I could use to connect two electrical circuits to break them. I might have some scrap metal in back I can get for you, but uh, I need you to help me out with something first. Oh, what a surprise. You gotta do some in puzzles. In order to uh, conserve space on my lot, I need you to rearrange this junk. Up there in the corner is a diagram that'll show you how to. Oh, junk is it like a tangram or something the like that? Black shapes represent the pieces of junk that you'll need to try and copy the diagram. Did you follow copy me? Copy the diagram. Stop following me, or I'll have you arrested. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Good little one. joke. Okay. Yeah, move that fucking thing out of the way. Yeah, that's a tangram, isn't it? I think that's what it's called. Okay, so we're going to rotate with the um, thing out. Rotate with the space bar. And just copy the diagram, I guess. I think I remember playing with these at school. Because you can make like weird pictures and shapes with them and stuff like that. I know you usually had like seven pieces, didn't you? And they'd form into like a perfect square if you rearranged them right. But then you could do like weird shapes with them too. Well, straightforward. <laughs> oh, it's meant to be like one of those electromagnet ones. Okay. Just gonna carry off all the junk.
Okay, here's what I promised you. Thanks for the help. Oh, frying pan. Okay. Put that in the suitcase. Cool. Um, can we just close that? Yeah, there we go. I don't have time for you right now, kid. Go on, beat it. Oh, um, I need some more items, though. I don't have time for you right now, we kid. Just... Now that got quits. I don't have time for you right now, kid. Go on, beat it. I don't have time yeah, for you right now, Yeah, all right, we, now, we get it. We get it. Uh, the screen won't be saved when you go to the progress report. No, I don't, we don't have time leave. for you right now, Back kid. Back to the map, on, I guess. All right. We can go... I've already been there. Oh, so we got to do stuff elsewhere to get the other items, maybe? Go to Squishy's Juice Bar, I suppose, which seems to be on fire? Bernie? Is that you? What are you doing here? Shh! Not so loud, Joe. I'm undercover getting a story. A reporter's work is yeah. never done. So, what's yeah, I can't actually you? remember what the name of the chick. Just um, pretend you don't know me. Just give me a sec. I'm just looking that up. Um, what do we say? Jumpstart fifth grade. Um, Joe Hammett, kid detective. There we go. So her name is Joe. Fair enough. Oh, some sort of... <laughs> this place is seedier than a cornfield. Yeah, but it's got atmosphere. So much I can hardly breathe. We need a lock. We need insulation. Yeah, what have you some got for kind something? Of insulation from shock. Life can be pretty shocking. I mean, I'm looking for something to prevent electric shock. Oh, that kind of insulator. Well, I got some rubber boots in the lost and found, but uh, you'll need to help me out first. <laughs> hey, mixing milkshakes is a snap. Oh, yeah? You just need to follow instructions. This isn't a milkshake, it's all fruit juice. And fill them with the right liquid. Look at the fra then, look how much the fractions are bumped up, though. You need to get the right mixture, or it'll taste awful. When you have the right amount, dump the glasses into the blender. It's easy. Yeah, right. Um, what is a special cream, though? Special cream. Um, so what are you, okay, so we got limeade, cherry juice, grape juice. Um, we got to get our fractions right, I suppose. Um, oh, yeah, yep, yeah, okay, so we do 11th, 29th of the grape juice, chuck that in. And then 7th, 29th, then we'll be able to make 18, there we go. Chuck that in the blender. Uh, 9 17th for limeade. Oh no, not fractions. How are you, bagger? Um, yeah, you you missed some of the shit in this game. We were kind of stuck doing a crossword where we had to um, gather clues about, you know, Renaissance art and geography for some reason. Um, but now we're into the good, we're into the meat and potatoes of the game. Apparently, okay, so our name's Joe Hammett. We're a kid detective. Uh, we have to disarm a bomb, but we need to collect the items required to do that. Um, but yeah, these fractions have got complicated. Like, I remember the, we did the first Jumpstart game. Oh, well, first grade. And we had the lovely live-action food. I enjoyed that. Um, so what do we need? Yeah, let the kid disarm the bomb. That's right. And they've definitely, they've gone darker in tone. Just, I guess, because we're aging up. This is like fifth grade Jumpstart now. Um, so what do we want? Five seventeenths of limeade. Yeah. And then we're going to need, what else is, oh, I think, we... no, we needed six and three, didn't we? Okay, can I tip this out? Just tip it out somewhere? Um, put it back? No. Um, crap. I think I've stuffed that one up. Uh, hang on, we'll get some help. It's always easier to figure out one problem at a time. Yeah, that didn't help. Usually, tip it out. at least two different measuring cups are needed to make a mixture. Yeah, we Oh, can we just click it? Yeah, we can tip it back in the thing. And put it down. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, yeah, just figure it out one at a time. Easy. That's it. Uh, we, so we need six seventeenths and then three seventeenths. Make nine. That goes in the blender. Um, and thirteen of cherry juice. 13 seventeenths would be what? Not six and eight. Um, crap. Hang on. So what do we got for seven eight? Eight? No, eight and five seventeenths. That works. 
That makes 13. There we go. Alright. And this is a milkshake, apparently. It's just all juice. And somehow it's a milkshake. Special cream. Um, oh, we gotta do... Oh, we gotta do three drinks. Okay. Um, monkey brain, so... 10 nineteenths of cherry juice. I could go for a weird rainbow milkshake. Yeah, I must admit. I do like... I, I'm fond of my milkshakes, but... Why call it a milkshake? Milkshake. It, we're in a juice bar, apparently. I don't. I don't see what the deal is. But anyway, um, so cherry juice, ten nineteenths. What do we have? For, oh yeah, four nineteenths, six nineteenths. That's straightforward. All right, so that's the cherry juice. Um, cool mint. Cool. Cool mint's not even a fruit. That's weird. That's a little weird. Um, fifteen. 20 and ah, 1 of 23 there we go that's a cool mint and then grape juice is 23 as well um 120 yeah 1023 323 there we go beautiful blend that up monkey brains nutty head wound what what is this? What is this strange thing? Anyway, 10 19s, grape juice. And someone's working here with like all these murdering cups going, what the fuck, man? Just. <laughs> they'll probably just get the shits and just eyeball it. Like most barmen. Uh, 13 29s, though. That'd be 9 29s for the sweet lemonade. There we go. And the. Better not show you where the lemonade is made. And 17 19th of Cool Mint. Yeah. Um, cool Mint. And four. 17 19ths. Okay. You don't have a four 19th cup. Yeah, there is one here. There is one. That was. That was different. I, I actually preferred like yeah first grade jumpstart again because it had the um oh yeah not not IRL unfortunately You've done good Joe thanks I know we are a bit weird need. we've got the metric system here but yeah no four nineteenths cup right so we have boots and a fry pan that's we're disarming a bomb with this by the way right so we got where else do we have to go we've juice bar we're not going back to the museum. Been to the junkyard, been, haven't been to the dam yet. We're after, like, I guess, proper locations? Dale and Nut, okay. Um, yep. Dig out. Pen and notepad ever asked, sure. Um, where the hell is the mine shaft, though? Okay. There's apparently a mine shaft around here. So, oh, there we go. Boulder Canyon mine the shaft. Skating is not to hit anything. Oh, and we have an actual, you know, skating mini game because they got to cram some some game in here somewhere, don't they? And I do, yeah, I actually do have oddly specific measuring cups, you know, two thirds, and but yeah, not four nineteenths. Oh, you've actually played this bagger. Um, yeah, I this I missed out on this one. Well, when did this come out? 97, I think. So, yeah, I would have been a little old for educational games. I know a lot of kids would have been playing, like, Zumbinis and stuff around that time. But, no, like, all the jumpstarts... Like, yeah, I was saying the other day, jumpstarts still around. You can... They've done, like... They sold out to a Chinese company, and they've, um... They do free-to-play games on your phone now. Um... But yeah, no, these these were pretty popular. And Knowledge Adventure was pretty good. I remember, th like, 3D Dinosaur Adventure was the, the first one I played. And it was at school, you had to go through the maze, and they actually came with, like, proper 3D glasses. That was that was a boring bloody <laughs> minigame. Oh, my. Well, I haven't had a visitor since the Park Service closed the mine due to falling rocks. My name is Maggie. Maggie Mead. What can I do for you? Um, yeah, we've already got insulation. 
Yeah, what are what you exactly doing with this stuff? What are you doing with this stuff? I'm organizing. What does it look like? It looks like obsessive compulsion. <laughs> just, no response, just a finger, finger waggle. Um, so I guess we need a Do lock as well. Do you have a well. lock I can borrow? Do you work for the park service? Um. <laughs> Why, yes. Actually, I'm the park service ambassador from Yosemite. How did you know? Lying gets you nowhere. Aw. Can I just Do you have, have a, lock? a lock I can borrow? Do you work for the park service? No, I don't. Mm, no, I don't think so. Okay, then. I've got an old lock that used to keep kids from playing in the mine shaft, but we don't need it anymore. I'll give it to you, but... You <laughs> All the kids that wanted to play in the mine shaft have died, so we don't need to I'm lock it up. I'm sort of, well, afraid of the dark. But I need to get some objects out of the mine for my studies. I know they're down there, but I can't remember exactly where. There's three mine levels down there. Getting older, the further you go down. <laughs> Telling you the truth the gets you what you want. To it's a good oh, message. A this is true. For rocks. I need a musket ball. I need a shell basket decorated with feathers. What? I need feathers from a bald eagle. Okay. Um. Oh, so we gotta we just do a little scavenger hunt in the mine. Hit the space <laughs> Examine. Push A to jump. Push Z to duck. If your health meter gets too low, you'll have to Oh, start this again. is this is complicated. Okay. So we can jump and duck. And we gotta examine look objects. The object oh, okay. The description. Yeah, oh if you can't take bald eagle feathers. That's true. He's asking for. That's click right. the green accept button. If it doesn't, yeah. click the Yeah, you can't you just button. can't touch bald eagles. I know that much. An object you found with I did watch one. an episode of MacGyver where um he found like a mated objects. pair of them and one died one and he had to like raise the other one or protect it from poachers. Click the question. That's the redhead kid from Terminator 2 in it as well. Okay, so what do we need? A musket ball, bald eagle feathers. We gotta duck these, or try and duck the rocks, I guess. And then examine these. Don't need a horseshoe. Get wrecked by the rock again. Mario, Donkey Kong, this is not. Telegraph key. Uh, who left all this junk down in the thing, by the way? Right, I think, I guess, yeah, it was sort of safe on the ladders at least. Okay. Scale. No, we didn't need a scale. What do you say? Musket ball, bald eagle feathers, and ooh, rock coming, and something else. Something. No, it was some sort of decoration with feathers on it, wasn't it? Okay. Spectacles. No. Oh, it's the old school ones with like the loops wrap around your ears. Okay. Um, a bonnet. No, don't need a bonnet. Oh, good dodge. That's one of the ones up top, I guess. Um, piece of the early American flag? No. Steering wheel helm from a schooner? No. Uh, cotton? Yeah, no, don't need that. A musket ball, we needed that. Okay. And, yep, duck the rock. Kind of, oh, thank fuck, there's no fall damage. That's insta-death in, um, Donkey Kong, I know that much. Oh, crap. <laughs> I love you, it leaves the impression on the back of the wall. That's a bit fucked up. Wow, okay. And I guess the other bits are on the other levels. Presuming that's the case. There we go. Right, so second level. Oh, it was A and Z to jump and duck, wasn't it? Okay. I was pressing X for some reason. Okay, so look through the garbage. Kachina doll. Kachina dolls represent powerful spirits important to the Hopi of northern Arizona. Uh, dolls were adapted from mas large masks worn by dancers, carved. Um, yeah, no idea what a Kachina is. Oh, <laughs> got me as I was searching. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, didn't need to paddle. Um,. Ceramic vessel? No, that's not what we need either. And, ooh, oh, okay, you get little... Yeah, righto, righto. Ah, that's what we needed. Shell basket decorated with feathers. Okay. So I'm going to presume the last thing's in the um, bottom area. Do some mad jumps while we're here. Now you get away from me, you stupid rock. 
actually pretty like it's not as difficult as some like educational game arcade games but it's a little bit more complicated um lava rock no why is there a lava rock oh no i suppose it's <laughs> shit <laughs> Oh, it just does a number on my face. Holy crap. Um, ah, oh, okay. I think i got to actually drop down to those ones. Egg. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, salmon? <laughs> Why is there a salmon down here? <laughs> That's so weird. Um, diamond. Can I just take the diamond for myself? That'd be the, the way to go. Tooth from a saber tooth tiger. No, no. Miss that. At least they're a little bit generous with health. That's a start. I think we checked this one. Yeah, that was salmon. Um, okay. Yeah, here we go. Feather from a bald eagle. Um, birch hatch from eggs. Uh, just look at the info dump on this too. Ostrich and penguin are two birds that cannot fly. Alright, can we speed run? Yeah, it just runs straight down. Beautiful. Ah, made it. Alright, head back up. Thanks for the help. Here's what you wanted. Oh, we got a padlock for that. Cool. Alright. Into the into the box it goes. So we got everything we needed now? <laughs> just okay. a finger got waggle. All the goods. Now I need to get back to the electroplating factory. Oh, and that was on Oak and Main, wasn't it? The trick to skating is not to hit anything. <laughs> and it's so boring, isn't it? Like, yeah, the characters look cool and stuff. Except for Grandma. Grandma looks a little weird. Oh, we actually heard ourselves jumping on. Okay, alright. Manhole cover's bad, apparently. Can I actually jump onto the, um... The footpath? Nah, nah. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> We're getting very badly hurt tonight. Perks of being a yeah, one of the downsides of being a kid detective. Just very, very lots of danger involved. Gotta keep the story exciting somehow. And then just the toilets in the middle of the street. It's just a little weird. Just a tad. I did laugh too because I'd, I'd set the stream up and I had the, um, I did like little highlight videos and they go on at the start of the stream and I had one of me playing Monster Hunter with a mate and um, yeah, I just it just made me want to play Monster Hunter. Anyway, who the fuck are you? Who's this guy? Have you ever been electrocuted? Just that one time when I grounded my car battery with my tongue. Is there someone That's else here I can talk dangerous. to? That's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shouldn't. Oh, is this a, this a worker at the electroplating plant? I'm around wildly with my what? arms raised, screaming, "We're all doomed!" Yeah, that's productive. <laughs> they say Napoleon used to do the same thing. I heard he was more into break dancing. They didn't go the fucking the little drum lick. The that's that's a bit sad. What are you still doing here? Union Rule Six Eight Seven Five A says the technician must go down with his factory. <laughs> that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. That's exactly All right, what no, Jimmy Hoffa said. Alright, me back a little bit. Um, oh, they just made a Jimmy Hoffa joke. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. I need some help to try and stop this. Help. What kind of help? I need some information about how to stop that mechanical arm. Well, the only way to do it is to cut the power somehow. I'd try to break the circuit by connecting those exposed wires on the power terminal with some kind of metal. Yeah, all right. I need some help to try and stop this. Help? What kind of help? I need to get to that bomb without getting hurt. Oh, sorry, well, in that. order to get anywhere on the floor, you'll need to be insulated from electric shock. Back in school, we used to wear rubber suits, but we don't have any of those here. Okay. Um. Have you ever been electrocuted? Just that one time. Yeah, it's just annoying. I yeah, I have to go through like tongue. every part, piece of dialogue for some reason. To? What are you still doing here? 
Union Rule 6875A says the technician must go down with his factory. A captain in his ship, eh? Well, more like an electrical engineer in his electroplating factory. <laughs> but that's the gist of it. Yeah, okay. Um, guess we're heading back in. Just, do you really need to do that? I know you've been running around, but that's it's a little creepy. I need button. to use those items to get to the bomb. They're in my inventory. Okay, um... I guess we need the boots to walk on the floor. Oh, we've just we're just doing it. Oh yeah, so that shorts out the Oh, it's just gonna do it for us. Okay. I wonder if you get a different cutscene if you um don't have all the items, maybe. Huh? Okay. Oh Stay crap. Now. This looks Disarming complicated. This bomb doesn't look too difficult. I hope. Okay, there's a series of batteries with different voltages. Now, in order to shut this thing down, I need to get the right combination of batteries turned on. I need to get the voltage meter, the number in the red box, equal to the target number in the dark blue box. Okay. To do this, turn the batteries on or off with the circuit android. Use the arrow keys to move the android and the space bar to flick the batteries on and off at the square junction boxes. Oh, okay. That's simple enough, except there's also a couple of defense androids who'll try and stop me. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so I guess we go... Uh, was that turned on or off? Hang on. Oh, we gotta get the voltage down to 4.98? I thought it was meant to be going the other way on that. Um... Maybe we turn them all off and then... Yeah, that gets it to zero. Was there a 4.98 here somewhere? Um. Huh. Or, no, we got to do something that adds up to 4.98, I guess. Um. Maybe the 3.591. And then. Uh, that's 4.76. Uh. Maybe this 1.391. One. Oh, am I going to get to it? Oh, no, they're going to chase me. Okay. Chase me, boys. Now, don't go around that way. Now, let me get to this one. Oh, we got it. Okay. Yeah, cool. Alright. Yeah, no worries. Just disarm the bomb. All good. Some cases are fought for, and some drop in your lap. This one started with a trip to the museum and bumping into an old stranger. It's only gotten stranger from there. All yeah, all right. I sure must admit, if I hadn't gotten stuck at the, um, what's his face, at the museum, this would have been all right. But later... So this little brat thinks she's won, eh? No matter. The game's far from over. They'll all learn to fear Dr. X. No, oh, not Dr. X. And that just... Hiya, hiya, hold it. Boy, it's good to be out of the lab. I felt like I was just spinning my wheels. <laughs> Get it? Lab rat, exercise wheel. Go! Boy, oh, it's terrible. A tough crowd. Okay, all right. Here's the note. Okay, so it's just the same deal again. You're finding clues in the museum, then going to the right place, then getting all the parts to uh, huh? disarm the bomb. Ugh, another crossword. Well, I guess I'll never get the message if I don't finish. Yeah, what's a French artist? Oh, at least know that one. Yeah, I know where Tazzy is. Um, son of a minister. Yeah, no, we're not doing this. We've kind of done all we can with this game from the looks of things. It just repeats. That's surprising too, like considering all the other games wants us to play it like over and over again to unlock the keys and stuff. But no, that was... Okay, that won me back at the end. But yeah, that's not the best jump start we've played. Just check out these credits. Yeah, because I want to know who did Joe's voice. I can't put my finger on it. And it's someone famous. It's someone who's done, you know, like proper voice acting. Like I said, I heard him in um, Duckman. 
Um, who have we got? Engine programmers. Paul Kang. Who's Kang Chet? Tom Klein, no. Yeah, and that makes sense actually to have an actual animation company working on your thing. Uh, ah, Kath Cersei, that's the one. Yeah, she's been in shit tons. She's been in a lot of uh, cartoons over the years. Has a sexy voice when she's not voicing children. <laughs> oh, and there's actual like concept art there. Oh, that's different. And I guess this is all the kids advising them. Stop putting all the educational shit in this game. Put it in a few arcade games. And yeah, really the only fun game in there was the, the minecart uh the mineshaft one, wasn't it? Oh well. That was Yeah, so what do we got left to do? I think there's sixth and seventh. We we're gonna reach like a um a stopping point at some point. Cause there'll be a yeah, there'll be a stage where just stuff won't work in Windows 3.1 anymore, but we can go back and do the advanced versions at some point. But yeah, we'll leave that there for now, I think. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the, the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death, Death Sandals.